In this video, I will show you how to send WhatsApp messages on Elementor form submission automatically to your form submitter. So here you can notice I have created this inquiry form using Elementor form submission. And as soon as the user submits this form, they will automatically receive a message on their WhatsApp number along with a PDF brochure attached and not just on the Elementor form submission. If you are using Google Forms, Jot form or any other form builder software, then also on the form submission you can automatically send the whatsapp message how so basically you will have to build an integration in your form submitter software and in the interact application well interact is an amazing application for sending the whatsapp messages okay so here in this video i will integrate elementor form application and interact with the pabli connect it is an integration and automation software via which you can connect multiple applications and automate your task here you can notice I am already logged in because I am an existing user. You can also create your free account in Pabli Connect in just two minutes from the sign up free button and in the free account you will also get free tasks to test this automation. Now after reaching out to the dashboard the very first thing you'll have to do is to click on this blue button that is create workflow and provide any random name to your workflow to your automation. Okay so I will provide the name here as when form is submitted okay then send a whatsapp message automatically okay i'm providing this particular name you can provide any random name now click on create and then you will notice two boxes in front of you okay so these are actually trigger and action and here the trigger means when this happens an action means do this so whenever this happens, then automatically do this okay so you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation okay so understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application then automatically send an email via gmail application to your customer okay according to our use case whenever any new form submission is made in which application in elementor forms application then automatically send a whatsapp message to the form submitter via interact application all right so i have successfully selected both the applications in this trigger and the action window now the idea here is i am going to connect these two application one by one with the path connect okay so for that firstly you will have to select the trigger even that is new form submission okay it means whenever any new form submission is made in elementor form the details will be collected via pabli connect here okay so here you can notice it has provided me a webhook url and few sort of instructions okay so you will have to follow these instructions very carefully okay so copy this webhook url and then go back to your elementor form which you would like to integrate with the whatsapp okay so i am going to firstly edit this form with the help of elementor only and then i am going to paste this webhook url into my form so that i can receive all the form submission data here in pabli connect you can also notice it is saying waiting for the webhook response okay so this is my form firstly i am going to select this form okay so let me select the same here you can notice the form is being edited now you will see several options okay so i will firstly select this actions after submit okay so i want that after the submission the webhook action should be applied so here you can notice it is already selected and in this webhook i am going to paste the same webhook url which i have received via pabli connect so i have deleted the existing webhook url now i am pasting the new webhook url now i will simply click on update and this is how the connection in elementor form and pabli connect will be successful okay now as soon as i am going to submit this form you will notice that the details will be received via pabli connect and pabli connect is also saying the same login to the application where you have added the webhook url and do a test submission or record so that the data can be recorded here in the webhook response okay so i am going to do a test submission in this form okay so let me submit this form with some dummy details okay so assume that dummy user is the name of the person okay and then i will add some email address again this email address is also a dummy email address dummy demo at the rate pabli tutorial 
www.sonikaraj.com and here i will add a dummy whatsapp number okay currently i am providing a dummy whatsapp number along with this specific code okay it is menbrak3 to provide the code why i will show you later okay so i have provided a 10 digit whatsapp number let me click on this button and made this submission successful and now when i will come back to pabli connect you will notice that a response will be received and here you can see the response is received as soon as i have made the submission and here let me show you the details here we have the name of the form the id the name the mobile number and the email address okay so the presence of this data clearly shows that the connection in between our elementor form and pabli connect is working absolutely fine okay so now onwards what will happen every time someone is going to submit this form the details will be captured via pabli connect instantly why instantly because this trigger will instantly capture new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time okay so the first step of our automation is completely done now i want that a whatsapp message should be sent automatically on this whatsapp number to my user okay well currently i have used dummy number but don't worry i will replace this number with a genuine whatsapp number of mine okay well for sending the whatsapp messages i have told you initially that we will use this interact application well it is an amazing application for sending the whatsapp messages because it has the access of official whatsapp cloud api okay and just like we have built a connection in elementor forms and pabli connect now we will be connecting interact and pabli connect also and for the connection it is asking for the secret key okay so simply visit this particular documentation link and you will be redirected to that specific place where you can get this token okay since i am already logged in it has taken me to that specific page let me copy the same come back to pabli connect paste the same here click on save and this is how the connection in between interact and pabli connect will be successful now it is asking for the country code the phone number the full phone number the template code and several other details now why it is asking the phone number at two different places okay so before i explain you anything firstly i will show you the note that is it is mandatory to give a value for either full phone number or for both full phone number and country code so it completely depends on what kind of phone number you have okay so if you have phone number along with the country code provide the number in this specific field but if you have the same phone number only with the phone number field only you do not have the country code in that case provide the number in this specific field and then separately you can provide the country code okay so let me show you uh, what kind of number we have so currently we have the number along with the country code so that is why i was telling you that this code is important so that it will be easier for you to directly provide this number here okay and don't worry i don't need to manually copy this number and paste it here i am going to map this number here and mapping is very simple click on this field and you will find the above data here in the drop down and select that field and this is how the values will be mapped and what is the importance of mapping so whatever the number or whatever the details i am going to provide the details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time and if i will provide any detail manually the detail will remain same okay so this is the difference in mapping and in providing the value manually okay so what will happen when another user submit this form this number will be replaced by the new user's number okay so this is how this automation is going to take place and this is how that is why mapping plays a major role inside this automation now it is asking for the template code name okay before we select the template code name let me show you what exactly this template is okay so whenever you are sending the whatsapp messages using the official cloud api of whatsapp you will always have to create a whatsapp message template first okay you can create one from this particular button and once that template is created you will have to submit it for the approval if that template is approved then only you will be able to initiate the conversation with your customers with your clients okay so the these are several predefined templates which are given provided by the interact only and if i will visit this 
action active section you will notice that various templates i have created me and my team have created inside this dashboard and the templates marked with the green color are actually the approved one here you can see approved pending and rejected okay so green color templates are the approved one the red color templates are actually the rejected one and if you will notice the yellow color somewhere those templates are actually the pending one okay so let me show you for sending the whatsapp messages to the form submitter which particular template i have created okay so the name of the template is general brochure email okay general brochure template i'm sorry for that and here you can notice since the template color is in green so that means this template is already approved okay so how and what details you will have to provide while creating the template okay so firstly provide a name to your template then select a category then you'll have to choose a language and header is completely optional but in my case i have selected the header as document yes you have the flexibility whether you want to send a text an image a video or a document along with your message here let me show you this is how your header will look like if you will attach any document or an image okay and uh, if you do not want to include any data you can also go with none okay and under the body text from here exactly you can compose your message okay so basically you just need to create a single message only and the same message will be sent to all your form submitters only the details will be replaced automatically which i have kept in the form of variables yes these numbers packed with the curly braces are called as variables you can add as many as variables as you want currently i am into the view mode so that is why those options of adding the variables and the formatting options are not visible here okay but if you will create the template you will notice you will get all the options okay so let me show you what message i am planning to send to all my form submitter hello and here the name of the form submitter will appear automatically thank you for your inquiry one of our team member will contact you shortly meanwhile you can check our dash brochure so here i will add the name of the brochure which we have attached with this message where you can uh, send all the details where you can see all the details i think there is some issue i have forgot to add c okay or where you can see all the details or find all the details for more details you can visit our website and here i will provide the website link and lastly i will provide my company name just in case if you want to attach any footer or button along with your message you can also do the same but since these two options are also optional so i have not included any okay so this is how you can create your template once it is done make sure to provide the samples now what are the samples well this is just a dummy content which you are specifying that what values will come in place of these variables okay this is just a dummy just a sample content now after providing the sample content you can successfully submit this for the approval and if your template is approved you are all set to go okay you can now initiate the conversation with your customers on whatsapp message okay so from this url you can copy the template code name okay so make sure that you do not include any forward or ending slash basically these two slashes okay coming back to my pabli connect dashboard and let me paste the same in case of any question you can also visit this documentation and this help text asking for the language code so as i have told you i have selected the language as english okay and the code for english is en so i will add the same if you will go with the english us then the code will be en and us okay so again you can visit this documentation to get the language codes okay asking for the header value well here i want to attach the brochure along with my message into the header so i will paste a link here again you'll have to read the instructions okay so let me show you i have this particular brochure which i am planning to send okay i can also show you this brochure the same brochure how it is going to look like okay and you can also add your google drive link or any other pdf brochure okay asking for the 
have body variable values the most interesting part okay so from here exactly we will provide the details to our variable so in the same way which is mentioned in this help text you'll have to provide the details separated by a comma okay so currently i have one two three four four values four variables in total so i will provide the value to four variables and in place of first variable the name of the customer will appear so again i'm going to map the name and mapping is very simple as i have told you okay so you can find the data from here only from this drop down i have mapped the name of the person simply add a comma and then you can also provide the value to the second variable which is going to be the name of the brochure well this is going to remain same okay so i can provide it manually also how about i provide something like kerala brochure or kerala traveling brochure again it is completely up to you what kind of name you would like to provide you can provide it as per your requirement okay uh, kerala traveling and here you can notice the brochure this will appear automatically which we have attached with this message for more details you can visit our website okay so i can copy the website link from here which i have already sent earlier okay so i have copied the same let me paste the same but before that again you will have to provide a comma okay so this is how you can separate the variables and lastly again i will put a comma and in the last variable i will provide the company name and again i will provide this company name manually okay so i have provided the values to all my variables and whatever the details i have provided manually these details will remain same but whatever the details i have mapped here these details will be replaced automatically okay so it is completely up to you that what values you want to be changed automatically you can provide those values with the help of mapping now how about first i delete this message so that i can show you how i will receive a whatsapp message automatically on my number but before that i will have to replace this dummy number with my genuine whatsapp number for now i am adding this number manually just to show you how messages can be received but if you want this automation to work in real time automatically do not forget to provide the number with the help of mapping basically you'll have to map the phone number do not provide the number manually otherwise all the messages will be sent on the same number all right so i have provided my number clicking on this button save and send test request and waiting for the response to receive here you can notice the response is received let us check the status and here you can see message queued for sending which means our message sending is successful let me go back to my whatsapp web let me refresh my whatsapp web and wait for that message to be arrived here fingers crossed and here you can see the messages arrived to pabli team in track okay so this is the same message hello dummy user thank you for your inquiry one of our team member will contact you shortly meanwhile you can check our kerala traveling brochure okay so here you can notice how the name of the brochure how the name of the person has been replaced how the uh, website link is also there and how the company name is also added here okay so this is how now onwards every time someone is going to fill your elementor form or in place of elementor form you can build the same automation scenario with other form builders as well okay so whenever the user is going to submit any kind of form they will automatically receive a whatsapp message now onwards you do not have to do anything manually simply set this automation inside pabli connect just once after that you can sit back and relax because pabli connect will take care of all the task in the back end you do not have to do anything manually okay and just in case if you want to access this automation inside your pabli connect account i will also attach the link of my workflow into the description box okay so simply click on this link and sign up into the pabli connect and then you will be able to access this workflow this automation inside your pabli connect account that to for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with pabli connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com 
my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video